change can happen, and with these steps, you can start to help the community around you. When you're just one person, thinking that you have the political power to change anything at all feels like a tall order. Often what causes this feeling of helplessness is distraction and confusion about how the process works. Here are five steps that you can use to help to push change in your community. To put it into perspective, some of the steps are accompanied with a real-life example from the Pinion, the student-run newspaper from McKinley High School that recently helped to pass a bill to protect the free speech of student journalists for Hawaii schools. Step 1. Identify a specific issue that is affecting your local community that you think should be changed, like a crosswalk that needs to be repaired. Step 2. Research your local representatives and the people in your neighborhood. You'd be surprised where pockets of support for your cause are. McKinley is represented by House Speaker Scott Psyche. He helped them move the bill forward and eventually to get it passed. Step 3. Contact your representative. Ask them if there is currently a bill regarding your issue. If there isn't, ask if they would support your cause and to actually start making a bill. Step 4. You will inevitably encounter stalls and roadblocks, but don't give up. Study your issue with your representative and to prepare your own testimony as you continue to rally your friends, family, and neighbors in your community. Step 5. Vote. Remember, a big part of making sure that the issues you care about are talked about by lawmakers is making sure that you are represented by people who align with your ideals. Ultimately, this is the most important step that can have the widest impact. Change can happen, and with these steps, you can start to help the community around you. This is Reese Lapis from McKinley High School for Hiki No on PBS Hawaii.